everyone, it's Neve here and today in this week's video I'm going to be doing self care and breakup advice. Although breakups are one of the hardest things to go through as a teenager, it does happen to most of us and most of us girls, as we can all relate, do seem to get very down. Hello? Dinner? What dinner? Mm -hmm. What dinner? All right, I was filming, but uh, I'm gonna go have my roast dinner, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and I'm looking more presentable. Last time I was looking a bit crusty. But anyways, we've got a shit ton of questions, so let's go. Any tips on how to love yourself more? So as you guys know, back in February of 2019, no, it was 2020. It was 2020. February 2020, I was looking. I was looking like this, okay? I was okay looking, but personally for myself, I knew that I could make myself look 10 times hotter and I could change my personality and the way I think about things. And from February up to the point of like June, July, I was really in a headset where I was like, oh, I don't know if I should post this. What if people judge me? Like da 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 da, all these like, stupid things. Which is such a terrible mindset to be in because if you don't believe in yourself, you're not gonna get anywhere in life. So that's a little, a little fun story here for you. I was like at the time, what is wrong with me? I'm gonna try glow up and be a bad bitch. So that's what I did. I started working out three days a week. I started drinking water. I was on a roll. Then we came to July and that is when I first dyed my hair. Not gonna lie, the first time I dyed my hair, I only seen a little bit of difference. That's why my hairdresser said, if you work your way up slowly to the hair color that you want, it's more healthy for your hair. It looks more natural and silky. I think I've dyed my hair about five, four, five, six times now. The last time I dyed my hair, I also cut it. I wanted to cut my hair for a long time because my hair was so long to the point where I couldn't get up in the morning because my headaches were so bad. If you guys don't know, I was born with a full head of hair. Yeah, be shocked, I know. My first haircut at four months old. Wow. I went to a men's barber for that. And yeah, since then, my hair has just been getting thicker. Not to go on a tangent there. Before I list out what I'm about to list out, this is not me telling you to do this. This is just what I did personally to make myself feel better. I dyed my hair. I cut my hair. I started working out two days a week. People think that you have to work out day on day on day, but I do it every second day or maybe <laughs> once a week. And the big thing is my style. I get asked about my style all of the time. If you think you're struggling on finding outfits of what to wear or what you think your style is, I highly recommend Pinterest. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to decorate my room, the apartment. I speak so fast, Pinterest. All that revolves around style. Tips on how to move on from someone. It's just to anyone who actually has gone through a breakup right now. I just want to let you know that everything is okay. I know everybody says that, but trust me, I've been going through it myself recently. It is really, really rough, but it does get better. I'm sending virtual hugs. I'm really, really sorry that happened to you and you do not deserve it. We'll get through it together and this this is why I'm making this video so people can understand that everybody has the same thoughts in their head etc etc so you're not alone right so tips of moving on from someone I'm gonna be very honest with this question I know the only thing you want to do is snap that one person and tell them everything that's going on in your life right now 50% of you will listen to me the other 50% won't if you're seriously struggling with your mental health after you have a breakup what you need to do is block that person on all social medias so you do not see them coming up on your feed if you are friends and you're talking like nothing happened it's fine crack on go for it but if you're grieving about that one person and you can't stop looking at their stuff because you still care about them you're just gonna block them it'll hurt and you're gonna want to unblock them but don't the next thing you're gonna do is a list for every day of the week what you're gonna do on that day and how you're gonna do it I don't want to call it distracting but I'm gonna call it distracting there's no point in you sitting in your bed crying life does not stop for anybody so why should you stop for this situation also another thing that seems to happen when people split up your motivation goes down I've seen this TikTok the last day and it was basically this boy holding water in his hand like this no matter what way or how hard he squeezed his hands water would keep falling imagine the water's motivation what he had to do is he had to find a way to keep that motivation going and keep it in his hands and he did not sure if that makes sense it makes sense for a dyslexic head but <laughs> doesn't make sense for a normal head <laughs> you have to stay up and running don't let yourself get to the bottom and if you're saying in your head oh i'll do it in five minutes oh i'm too lazy that's just the wrong mindset altogether you have to have a list slash timetable i have a timetable it's downstairs right now it's basically monday morning get up at half eight go to work until five o'clock and then you want to come home and all you want to do is rest yes definitely find a distraction for yourself can you please show us your skincare routine or what products you use i will show you the products I use right now. Should I just do my makeup as if I was going out because I will show you how simple my makeup is. My makeup routine is like Madison Beer's makeup routine but from Wish. This comes in a set of five. It is the Clarins uh, Reboost Moisturizer. You don't even need that much of it because a small wee bit of product smooths everyone on your face. Like this stuff is really good. 
This is definitely my go-to product if I ever have extremely dry skin. If you have skin to the point where if you're even doing this, flakes come off, I definitely recommend Aveeno Cooling Methyl. It's the only Aveeno that did not burn my skin. I've tried every Aveeno under the sun and all of them burnt me. I remember I went to Portugal and the Cooling Methyl one, I didn't know what it was at the time. And I was using like clear on, just straight aloe vera. And that stung so bad, I couldn't go with it. Normally I would do a wing liner with the Benefit Brow Dip. I'm not gonna do that today because I'm too lazy. Anyways, let me show you what I do with my eyebrows. We're just gonna get a wee bit of soap. I'm gonna keep brushing up. Now I know it looks a little bit funky at the start, which is cool. Some people actually leave their brows up like this. Next, I'm going to use my Penny's Lash Curler. Normally I would heat this up, but I'm not not turning on a hair dryer for this video. Next, this is a game changer, guys. You only need the tiniest bit because if you use more than a tiny bit, it just clumps up. The Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I got it on Beauty Bay about two weeks ago now. And I honestly want a wardrobe of this stuff. It is incredible. Like, I don't know life without this mascara. Can you see the difference in uh, no mascara and mascara? Like, it just makes you feel 10 times hotter, doesn't it? Oh, the one that I think about all day. That's just not the right song for this um video. And there we have it. Makeup done. <laughs> and that is basically my skincare and my makeup routine all in one. Ah! Oh, sorry, Lash. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> oh, anyways. How to not feel in lockdown? Going on walks with your friends is probably the most therapeutic thing. You know, at the start of lockdown, everyone was like, oh yeah, go on a walk with your friends, social distance, da 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 I felt like my body was there, but like my personality and everything else just wasn't there at the start. Nowadays, I actually get dolled up to go on a walk. Like I am full on glammed going to go on a walk. Maybe not tan and makeup, but I have mascara on, I have my eyebrows done, I have my hair done, I have my flared bottoms on, the nice wee crop top and a big puffy coat. And we go to random places so we can take photos of ourselves for Instagram and Visco. Like, going on a walk is cool, but whenever you're going on a walk, and start taking Instagram photos of each other and calling each other hot as hell. It just hits different. Try it. Trust me. Just try it. So upping your social media feeds is very good as well. I know some people started YouTube channels over lockdown and they are popping off, sister. As you guys know, I was in a relationship about a month and a half ago. We are split up now and a lot of you guys are asking what happened or do we still talk? I will say this now uh, so I don't get any more comments about this. I love showing you guys and telling you guys my entire life. But there is a few things that kind of need to stay off social media. You know, after certain breakups, people try aim stuff at each other back and forth and back and forth. And like, I don't really see why there's a need to post anything about a past relationship. I don't use my platform to aim stuff at people. I use my platform to make people smile. Yes, what happened between me and my exes is our business, nobody else's. And also I know influences around that relationship as well doesn't help because once one person says another thing, it's like Chinese whispers, it all gets twisted up. And nobody really knows the real story. And the only people who know the real story is them too. Yes, like I said, not everything needs to be brought to the internet and uh, have a private life as well as a public one. So as well as asking you guys what advice you want on relationships and breakups and skincare and glowing up and all that jazz. I also asked if anyone wants to put something below on how they dealt with it or what they did. Boys and girls, listen up. Alison Neil. Oh my god, are you Lovey Neil's uh, cousin? You're in the hey, I love you. Look at my ear, guys. It's like extremely infected. Like that's like... That's under my skin. I can't get it out. Oh, help. These are the names I will be reading out because these are positive. Alison says, take a shower and blast feel so close to you right now by Calvin Harris. Very good advice, Alison. I like that a lot. I might try that myself. R says, Blair Taylor Swift on your speakers in the shower. All these are in the shower. <laughs> Raina says, focus on yourself, forget about your phone and just do things that make you happy. I film, I tend to put my phone downstairs, but because this video is a sit down video and I'm reading the comments, I have my phone upstairs, obviously. Doing what I love is at a camera. There's no social media at the moment until I post it online, obviously. Yeah, this is what I like doing, filming, which is nothing to do with social media until I post it. Then I have to edit this. Grace says, this is kind of weird, but I watched Shrek the musical and that helps. Well, Grace, if it helps, it helps. Chloe says, horse riding helps. Another Grace says, my friends definitely helped me through my toughest times and I don't know what I'd do without them. So shout out to Grace's friends. She's very thankful for you. But yes, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe below. 75% of you are not subscribed to my channel, which is insane. Girl, what are you playing at? Honestly though, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, website, the clothing brand, everything in general. These are honestly the best group I could... You guys are honestly the best lack of luck. You guys are honestly the best luck of people I could ask for. You're all charms. I love you so much, and I'm sending virtual hugs. Peace, love, rubber gloves. I'll see you later.